happiness. Who better than some of the happiest children on the planet to explain what that means? Animals. I love my friends. Soccer. Gardening. Cooking. I love games. I love free candy. Welcome to Feeling at Home in the Netherlands. In this episode, we focus on Dutch primary schools because increasingly international children are attending local schools. One of the most important things when moving to a new country is definitely making sure the wife and kids are happy. And for that, you're going to need to find a good school. When internationals move to the Netherlands for a short span of time, they usually send their children to an international school. But if you're here for a longer time and your child is young, I would recommend a Dutch school. Learning Dutch will help them integrate better. If your child is just four or five years old, they can attend a Dutch school right away. With the help of the teachers and the Dutch children, they will pick up the language while they're playing. When it comes to the quality of education, both Dutch and international schools are good options. Probably the biggest difference is that the Dutch schools are practically free. What I like is the day your kid turns four, they can just join a school. It doesn't matter what day of the year it is. It's important that your child knows a few basic life skills before they join the school. You can only imagine, it's impossible for a teacher to help 25 kids eat their lunch, get dressed or go to the toilet. Children should know how to put on their coats and Velcro shoes. The children should know how to open their water bottles, their food boxes. They should know how to eat by themselves. They should also know how to reach out if they need help, either to another child or the teacher. Also ensure that your kid is toilet trained. There are a bunch of yeses and nos that parents need to know about. So the nos would include no uniforms, no school on Wednesday afternoons. So yeses would include things like the Healthy Eating Initiative. Uh, parents will need to ask the teachers what they can pack in their child's lunch. If your child is six years or older, they have to go to a newcomer class. When they are proficient enough in Dutch, they may transfer to a regular school. Schools have no ranking systems here because most schools are good. However, you can compare the school's test results at the end of the primary school. But I tell parents there are more important things to look at. Choose a school that fits your child's personality. There's schools that focus on science, arts, technology. My daughter is very artistic. She goes to a school that focuses on the arts and creativity. She's academically doing very well and she loves it there. My advice to parents would be to choose a school that's close to home and it was the advice given to me. When I was around 12, I started feeling comfortable to bike on my own and meet my friends. It's the kids that end up organising these playdates at the drop of a hat and life is so much more fun for them when they feel that freedom. It makes the life of the parents easier too because you have more free time and an opportunity to meet other parents. In the Netherlands, playing is as important as learning to learn social skills, motor skills and for the development of their minds. We didn't have homework till the age of nine. After we were nine, we started getting a bit of easy homework. I think it was to get us ready for secondary school. Now I'm 15 and I have a lot of homework. When children are young, you need to give them the time to process information they learn at school. Because they don't get homework, it's important for parents to ask their children what they learned that day and talk about it. For example, the theme of the week is seasons in the Netherlands. You could talk about the seasons in your home country in your own language. Then they learn even more. As parents, it's important to teach kids that it's okay to make mistakes and learn from it. This will help them gain confidence to try out new things. Well, the last thing you need to know is that birthdays are really special here. Everybody will gather around, sing songs, and your child will hand out treats. So be sure to ask a teacher what they can bring. Chocolate coated strawberries, that is my favorite birthday treat. Other treats include things like sausage rolls, cheese rolls, and homemade muffins. Luckily, my school is not so strict about treats. I love birthdays. It makes me feel special. When I was little, I couldn't sleep the night before my birthday. They say it takes a village to raise a child. The Dutch society nurtures childhood and recognizes that every child is unique. Here, children can be children. Then they grow into adults with a sense of independence and freedom.